618 here on the ticket. Canes head coach Al Golden. He joins us next. Tell me what it's all about. It's all about the you. Go Canes. It's Dan Cilio. It is 803. Good morning, Coach Golden's office. Hey, Al Golden here from uh, Miami Football. On the hook with us and on the recruiting trail right now is a new head football coach at the University of Miami. It is Al Golden. Coach, good morning to you. Dan, how you doing today? Outstanding, Coach. How's been recruiting going for you? Uh, it's great. We're trying to, uh, you know, cram six months into six weeks, but uh, kids have been responsive. Uh, got a lot of kids visiting, and uh, you know, obviously, we're excited about the product that we have here at Miami. I think the biggest thing right now is to make sure that we don't get caught up in the herd mentality and just start recruiting uh, young people to recruit them because maybe another brand school is recruiting them. I think the biggest thing right now is that we we get kids that are, are congruent with our core values that understand. Uh, that we want young people to, to be champions in the classroom, on the field, and in the community. So uh, we really uh, continue to evaluate as we're recruiting, and uh, families are important, uh, high school coaches' recommendations are important, uh, leadership is important, all those things are, are in the end going to be uh, determining uh, factors here for, for many of these recruits and obviously the kids that we sign. Not everybody can play at Miami. What's the profile you're looking at for that kid to represent you and to represent the U? It's all about the U, and the U for us is unique. It's, it's truly a unique experience here at the University of Miami. Nine uh, Pro Bowl players, the most first-round draft choices in the last 18 years, the most players in the NFL currently right now, most national championships in the last 30 years, 18 BCS Bowl games, 35 bowl appearances. So from a football standpoint, that's unique. From a social standpoint, it is truly the most unique place in all of college athletics. Uh, because you have this beautiful, self-contained, intimate campus of only 10,000 undergrads and, and 15,000 uh, students. Incredible atmosphere, but yet 20 minutes away is a world-class city and South Beach. And uh, what makes it unique is that you can have those two and yet still go to a top 50 institution, the number one uh, institution in the state of Florida, uh, and truly one of the most remarkable uh, universities in, in the United States. I got to go. great to have President Shalala join us at the Senesta. She thinks it's vitally important that she meets every recruit. So she's very much a part of the uh, campus community. She feels it's important that the student athletes and their parents know that uh, she's there for them. She discusses the quality of life a lot, the opportunities uh, that are afforded all of our student athletes here at Miami. It's a big university that acts small. Classes are small. Uh, we've got lots of support systems uh, for our students. You don't get overwhelmed at the University of Miami, a world-class university in a world-class city. And, and that's the opportunity of the University of Miami. We also aspire to be the very best in everything that we do. And so we don't want to just be competitive. We want to be number one. She's a huge football fan. She's involved in everything here at the university, and sports is no different. I love competition. Whether you're competing for the presidency in the United States or whether you're competing on the playing fields, I love competition and I hate losing. I love Coach Golden. I think we've made an excellent choice. Al Golden, the head football coach of the U. Hey, by the way, so all recruits can hear this, not naming anybody, are all <laughs> jobs going to be open, Coach? Every job is going to be open. And again, that's been our philosophy uh, for as long as I've been a head coach, um, is that uh, we always compete. Everybody's competing, and you have an opportunity to compete for a starting job. And we don't, we don't promise any, anybody anything other than a chance to compete for a starting job. And I think that's really important. It doesn't matter whether you're a freshman or a senior. Uh, all jobs are open. And uh, you have, you're going to have an opportunity first in the off-season program to win a starting job, then in spring ball to win a starting job, then in the summer conditioning uh, segment and then certainly in training camp. So there's four segments to building a team, and, and uh, the players that win all four of those segments, or three or four, are going to be the ones that end up starting for the University of Miami. 
Hey, Coach, I can't wait till we go to lunch up here at Leroy Salmons. I can't wait till you get up here, okay? Let's do it. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. The one thing that I noticed uh, was what the AD noticed, and that was Kirby Hocott said to me yesterday, he said, you know, Coach, this is a new phenomenon you have going here right now. And I said, what's that? And he said, there's guys uh, working out before we started school. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of them working out. And uh, that's good. That's good. They, they, they know there's a new, uh, new era, a new dawn, uh, and that uh, whatever we did last year was worth seven wins. And that's not good enough at the University of Miami. <laughs> Between the weight room and those practice fields, that's where uh, this team is going to be built, and uh, that's going to start here on uh, on the 18th of January, and and obviously will co hopefully culminate on next uh, New Year's Day. If you uh, accept the challenge that is the University of Miami, you also accept uh, the expectations, you accept the goals, you accept the legacy uh, that separates us from uh, so many other universities and football programs. Uh, this is truly a, a family. It was built uh, on humble beginnings. It was built with a hunger. It was built with a toughness. It was built with an attitude. And as they like to say in the 305 here, they invented swagger. We got to get it back.